Hi, this is Jeffrey, and today I'm going to do a review of this new retro keyboard, an ergonomic design keyboard that I just purchased from Five Below on 14th Street in Manhattan. Now, why did I buy this keyboard? Well, a couple of months back, I bought a new LED keyboard for my uh, MSI laptop that I have, that I've had for a year. It's a really great laptop. And this other keyboard that I bought turned out to be just so horrible, I just had to get rid of it. Or, well, I still have it, but I just want to replace it with something else. And I was at Five Below today, and I picked this up for $8. It looks like a really nice little keyboard. I don't know how good it is, but I guess we will see uh, how good it is or is not. Now, this other keyboard that I have that I am replacing, the reason why I'm replacing it is because the LEDs shine right through from the top of the keyboard into your eyes. Uh, the keys really are not illuminated. The keys are above the uh, keyboard. But the way, the whole way it's designed is just terrible. And uh, we'll take a look at that later. So let's unpack this new retro keyboard that I bought from Five Below. Okay, so here's the keyboard unpacked. It, it's kind of okay. It, yeah, it does feel a little bit cheap. But it doesn't seem to be all that bad so far. It has a built-in USB cable, and it's basically a no-frills keyboard, light blue keys, white casing. So it looks to be like it's an $8 keyboard. <laughs> I mean, what could you say? So I hope it works. So let's get started in setting up this keyboard. Now, also included in the box is this little user manual, and it's very simple. It says introduction on the top. Congratulations on your purchase of our keyboard. This product is a wired keyboard. It has a simple, clean design, which is more convenient and comfortable for working at your desk. So, let's see how good this keyboard is. Okay, so my laptop is now turned on, and this is the keyboard I want to replace. Now, you may be saying, well, that's a, that's a nice keyboard. I paid about $35 for it on Amazon, I think. Uh, the problem here is that the LEDs just shine right through. They just shine right through the top of the keyboard and into your eyes. It is just... It is, it was just making me sick. I mean, it was just causing a physical ailment. And I just don't really like that at all. Now, on video, it looks like that the, key, that the keys are lighted very well. But actually, when you look at it for real, no, it does not uh, shine through really well. So, that's another issue. Now, you can turn off the lights. And when you turn off the lights, you virtually cannot see the letters on this keyboard. So this is a keyboard that I just, I, I just don't like it at all. It's nowhere near as good as my other LED keyboard. That's an IIIP. At least that's what it says on it. And the LEDs are absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Nothing shows through the top of the case of the keyboard. And the keys light up just great. But this one, no. You, you may not be able to even tell uh, on this video how it is, but to me, it's just really, really bad. And th it's, on, it's on the lowest setting. Especially here. You could kind of see it on the uh, numerical keypad here. It's, this is the lighting on the lowest setting. And on the highest setting, it's just really annoying. So I just wanted to you know, switch this out for something else temporarily, which is why I bought that $8 keyboard at five below. So let's set up the new keyboard. Okay, so let's start typing on this keyboard and let's see how it feels and sounds.
Now, the keys actually have a very nice feel to them. Uh, the travel of the keys is very responsive. It's very quick. Uh, it feels very comfortable to type on. Uh, the printing on it is crisp, but, but it looks like it's probably decaled on if you look closely. Now, one issue that I did encounter while typing is that this enter key is short. This enter key is shorter than your typical enter key on other keyboards that I've used. Now, also, there's this key here, which is three keys from the L key. Generally, there's only two keys from the L key to the enter key. So this was a bit of a problem when I started to type because I kept hitting this key. So on this keyboard, you have to remember to just move your pinky a little bit more to the right to, to hit the enter key. Now, this keyboard also has two feet on the bottom, so it is angled right now. But overall, besides that slight problem with the Enter key, I think for $8, this is a pretty good keyboard. Uh, if you need something quick, if you need something temporary, and if the only place you can go to is 5 and below, well, then I guess this is a keyboard that uh, can work for you temporarily uh, and I'm using this keyboard until I figure out what else to get. Unfortunately, the other LED mechanical keyboard that I have, uh, not the one that I just showed you, but the one that I'm using with my desktop, which is a really, really great, fantastic keyboard, uh, I can't find that keyboard anymore. I don't know uh, if it's being manufactured anymore. It's under the name IIIP. Unfortunately, I cannot find it being sold anywhere. Uh, and so this other keyboard that I am replacing it with that I got from Amazon, I don't know, I'll just use that as a, as a spare keyboard. But this one from a company called Bitech. Actually, I think it's you know pretty good for $8. I mean, for $8, what do you expect? You can't expect too much, but... For now, I think it'll do just fine. And so that wraps up uh, my review. And as always, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.